In the light of the recent shootings around the nation, Governor Hogan is taking steps to make getting guns a little easier here in the state. The governor directed state police to stop enforcing the good and substantial reason standard when reviewing applications for wear and carry gun permits. Previously, good and substantial reasons for needing a gun included things like being a business owner that carries cash, if you're a physician that has a prescription pad, or if people have made threats against your life. The governor's office says the attorney general's office signed off on this decision. Now, the order follows last month's Supreme Court ruling, which found New York's law requiring applicants to show proper cause to get a concealed carry permit in violation of the Second and Fourteenth Amendments. Maryland still has several application restrictions in place, including ones banning felons and those addicted to drugs. State Republicans praised the decision. Mayor Scott, though, called it foolish. When you see what's been happening, when you saw what happened over this country over this holiday weekend, to think that we need more people walking around with concealed weapons when people can't even walk in a 4th of July parade or go to the supermarket or be at a party or just be walking down the street. If, some, if anyone who thinks that we need more concealed weapons in this country needs to go get their brain checked. And then Senate President Bill Ferguson said the state assembly will pass legislation in the next session that strengthens state gun restrictions while adhering to the Supreme Court's recent decision.